Hello to all the Linux Deck viewers out there. So uh, this is our second lecture of the Google Classroom series. Now if you have any problems conducting your live classes or go to your universities, colleges, school or even go to your maybe organizations. So don't need to worry about it. Google has a solution for you. So uh, we'll start with how to create a class first and then we'll look into the joining section. So we'll click on this plus sign and we'll create a class. When I'll click this create class, Google will ask if your school, university or college is actually registered with the G Suite for education. So you need to check this box and click continue. Now, in order to create the class, the very first thing is the class name. For example, you're creating a class of English literature. So I'll write down English literature here. So if you are, if you have a series of sections or you have multiple categories available within your pupils, so you can name it uh, as according to your section. For example, A21, maybe this is my first section for this lecture. Subject, you can list down here the subject of uh, arts maybe. Now, you can also segregate the classes with respect to rooms. Rooms are actually virtual rooms and you can create these rooms as per your requirement. So uh, this is not a mandatory option. So you can leave it blank as well. I'll leave it blank right now and I'll just create a new classroom. When I'll click on create, Google will start creating a new classroom with me. Currently, we have placed the name as English Literature. The section is A21 and you can see here the class code is also available these are auto tips by google you can just uh, shut it down or if you would like to view all these tips they are wonderful and will help you know how to proceed see uh, so this is uh, your interface for the basic class that you have created the class name is english literature the section is A21. You have got a class code here as well. Make sure that uh, you remember that you will be able to use this class code when you want your students or somebody else have created a class. So you can use this for joining a class. So there are two different options. Uh, if we look into the display categories, the select theme and the upload photo. So in case you would like to upload a photo of your university, college, organization, or maybe institution, so you can definitely do that with this uh, particular feature. Now, when we'll scroll down, we'll see that uh, there are different options there are actually four to five different categories that you need to learn within google Trans classroom the first category is called as stream you can see all these categories are available on top the first category is a stream and stream is actually used for the communication purpose so for example if you have some announcement or you would like to share something with your class with your students with your pupils with your employees you can use this particular section which is called as a stream now when you'll go to the second section which is called as classwork this is actually the basics or the main section that we have within this google classroom you can create assignments post questions you can use topics to organize a classwork into modules or units that you normally do within your live lectures and the third part is you can reorganize your work if you have listed down a couple of different topics or different assignments here you can also see that your classwork is directly related to your Google Drive. So you have a direct Google Drive link as well. So you can save your documents, you can upload your documents from Google Drive. The second section here is the Google Calendar. So if you have uh, anything listed down within your calendar, for example, meetings, upcoming tasks, quizzes, uh, you can uh, always do that. The third section here is people. So people means you can add different teachers. So for example, if you're running a school, college or university, uh, and you would like to create a Google Classroom for your complete organization, you can add teacher in the first section. And in the second section, you can add students. And this is the code that you need to send or share with your students, which will allow them to enter into this particular classroom or your customized classroom maybe.
the last section here is grades grades will let you know what students have actually achieved this can be used for employees as well for example uh, if you have created an assignment if you would like to contribute by conducting some interviews so all this can be used uh, customizedly for many other purposes I said there are five different options, four are these basic options and the fifth one is the settings. We will come to the setting option later on. We will start with the stream option. So uh, the very first option within the stream window is share something with your class. What you can actually share is create and schedule announcement, respond to student pose. So this is a two way communication which is a wonderful uh, expect that you can have within this stream function so the teachers can post as well and they can respond to the student queries as well so this communication part will act as a two-way communication we'll start by clicking here see when you will click here it will ask you for what actually you are conducting this or sharing this particular post if you have currently we have only one class listed here but if you have multiple classes you can use this drop down menu click here and you will see that there will be multiple options available as currently we have only one class so this is not enabled the second section is all students so obviously if you uh, would like to share this with all the students which are available within this particular classroom you can do that but if you would like to share this particular post with some particular students or pupils or employees maybe you can definitely go to this drop down menu and do this uh, particular task now what you would like to share with your class for example welcome this is the text that I would like to share with all my class. You can always add some attachments here as well. And these attachments can be a document, a PPT, a quiz, a presentation, uh, a video, anything can be attached here. Now you can see that the post is available here. But with this post, you can see a drop down menu. When we'll click on this drop down menu, it will ask you if you would like to post it immediately or you would like to schedule it for later on. For example, if you have created a test and you think that students, you would like students to view this test by tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow, you can schedule it accordingly. And in case you have just created it or you are in the process of creating this test or the post, you can save it as a draft. So this is the stream option. You can use it for many other purposes. There is an announcement option as well. If you would like to announce something that can be viewed by all of the students within the classroom, this is also possible. So please make sure that the communication is clear and sound because most of the problems, most of the hurdles and the confusions arises just because of miscommunication. This is a wonderful part that you can utilize within Google Classroom. So make sure you have understood this lecture perfectly. Thanks for watching this video and make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss the videos on these upcoming sections. Thanks for watching this.